you show us the way to make your beautiful city? Where are we going? How do we get there? What is your plan for this, this, this beautiful city? Where are we going? How do we get there? What is your plan for this, this, this beautiful city? It's an investigative theater piece. We went to Colorado Springs, Colorado for um, about 10 weeks and conducted interviews with people uh, to try and make a play about uh, religion and politics and um, yeah, how people enact their faith and uh, how they come to believe what they believe. Well, the Savones is a theater company. I started the company in 2001 um, and we are a nonprofit organization. We develop original shows and all the work we do comes out of some kind of creative investigation into real life. We uh, became really interested in doing a show about the evangelical movement in America and after a lot of sort of searching around and looking at different churches at different places, we uh, ended up focusing on Colorado Springs because it had been kind of the one of the real centers of the whole evangelical movement over the last decade or two. You, get, you first get to know the people um, kind of in general of the town and how they came to Colorado Springs, but then over the, over the course of the play you get to know individuals um, more in depth and you get connected hopefully to their convictions and what they're looking for in their lives. Oh, what can we do? What can we do? To cast the devil out, continue to pray in Jesus' name. We say to you, be no It's sort of a patchwork of different, um, you know, points of view, different monologues from different people on different sides of the political and religious spectrum, um, with a kind of through line following this thing once the, following people at New Life Church once the Ted Haggard scandal broke out. We had already been going out to Colorado for several um, weeks before the Ted Haggard scandal um, broke, and uh, then once that happened it was hard not to have that become a major part of our piece because it was such a major part of everyone's life. Barbara Walters is working on a story about heaven and will interview me and get some supporting shots from the church. Since we believe in heaven, we are in fact a good source. There are 12 songs in the show and I think eight of them uh, are based um, almost directly on interview material. So the words that the audience is hearing are actually, I mean, I've adapted them and done something here and there, but basically are the words that people said in interviews. The audience really gets to discover the story the same way that, that we did. So, you know, the actors talk right to the audience. The audience sort of is the imaginary interviewer and the events of the play just unfold as the evening progresses. A lot of people come not realizing that the play is almost verbatim material and that the songs are also verbatim. I think that's always surprising to me when people say, but that didn't really happen, right? And I'm like, yeah, of course it happened. We say it over and over again in the play. It happened. It's real. This is real. I guess one of the things that astonished me was how uh, free people were talking about um, this stuff um, that's very personal, you know. You're, personal beliefs. Um, the people were very open and I was startled by how much people wanted to talk. It's hilarious. There's so many points where like, because people, I think people in real life say hilarious things without knowing. And I think that's a part of it is it's un, sort of unintentionally funny. Like a lot of people don't know I'm not like Christian, like my best friends know, but my Christian friends don't know. I think in this case, because the subject matter got so volatile because of, you know, the Ted Haggard thing and the Ben Reynolds thing and them happening while there was a huge election and gay marriage and I, I, I mean, I think that keeps it from being, you know, sort of everyday, sort of mundane. We're not presenting it like a didactic argument. I feel like it's, these questions are, are ideas that we explore through truth and truth is multi-voiced, it has multiple perspectives. We have more in common that connects us than what keeps us apart. Although that fundamental thing that keeps us apart is, is it's rough to look at. It's an opportunity to get inside the skin of, of other people and get inside the homes of, of people who you don't otherwise know. And, um, 
And I think, you know, in the safety of the theater, being there in the audience, it's a, you know, it's a real pleasure. These people are so interesting to spend time with. And that, I think, is the basis of most good theater, so. My father will show me what my life is for, but there's more.